Hi, I'm Andy Allador, and welcome to In Deep with the Cool Cats of the Guitar. In this month's In Deep lesson, we're going to be looking at the guitar playing of some of the greatest guitar players and the coolest guitar players uh, that have ever picked up the instrument. So let's get to it. First up is Aaron T-Bone Walker. T-Bone Walker was born May 28, 1910, and he was one of the true pioneers of electric guitar and electric blues guitar. His single string soloing revolutionized the sound of the instrument, and he was a huge influence on B.B. King, Johnny Winter, and continues to be an influence today. His most famous composition is Call It Stormy Monday, uh, most well known as covered by the Allman Brothers on at Fillmore East. Stormy Monday is a slow blues in the key of G. Here's an example of his soloing style. All right, this is a slow blues in the key of G, one of T-Bone's favorite keys. And the cool thing is you start with this ninth chord, this chord voicing that T-Bone uh, is known for, where you have the third of the chord in the bass. So there's no G in the chord. There's our root note, and we're playing the notes B, the major third, F, the dominant seventh, A, the ninth, and D, the fifth. So we have G9, we go down a half step, G flat 9, back up, up a half step, A flat 9, and then back to G9, that's right on beat 1 of bar 2. So 1, 1, and then just do the same thing quicker in eighth note triplets. We're in 12 eighths, so it's eighth notes. So there on B3 in bar 2, B3, start with the chord, and then I'm just going to bar across the top two strings at the third fret, and go from the, to the high strings to the low strings for uh, rhythmic accent, melodic accent. So then we switch from the ninth voicing. And we're going to switch to the ninth voicing for the four chord, but we do a little voice leading, walk into it. So the four chord is C9. You played C9 with the fifth in the bass, you'd get that. And that's going to be the first chord in bar three. So you're going to end bar two by going from one fret higher, D flat nine with an A flat bass to C9 with a G bass. So again, the whole thing together. Bar two. Then here. So there's our D flat, A flat bass. In bar three, B2 is silent. And then on B3, B4. And the cool thing here is T-Bone takes this rhythm of one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, and he creates a two, two on three feeling where you have, so it's like a triplet feel on half the beat, and then the same thing on the other half of the beat. One and two and three and four, and, and that's falling on the, So, that's a whole lick, and it's just so cool how he gets the rhythm and the melody to roll in that superimposed rhythm. So starting, bar 3, B2, beat 4. You can also see 
I'm using a stretched fingering. I use my ring finger at the fifth fret for the G string. But then I'm going to move it up to the sixth fret for the B string. And use my middle finger for the fifth fret on the high E string. So again, bar three, bar four. This is a great lick. Hendrix uses this lick all the time. You can hear him do it on all along the watchtower. So now we're on B3 in bar four. So we're going to start hammering third to the fourth fret, flat three to major third, and I roll that ring finger over its barring across the fourth and fifth strings. Bring that hammer back in. So on the way up, so the same thing we played before, that same shape. Although before we did a bend. Now, we're doing a hammer. And this is a riff you hear Stevie Ray Vaughan use all the time too. <laughs> 